Now presenting MP3 Compression, a project brought to you by Josh Fitting and Sean Misa. You ever wanted to learn some of the technical information about MP3s? Here, we'll teach you a few things you probably never knew. So sit back, watch, and enjoy the show. Did you know that the human ear is most sensitive to frequencies between 2 kHz and 5 kHz? MP3 is typically used the CD standard 44.1 kHz sample rate. MPEG stands for Moving Pictures Experts Group. And MP3 stands for MPEG-1 or MPEG-2 Audio Layer 3. MP3s use frequency masking and temporal masking as a method of compression. MP3s have a variety of uses, ranging from sharing audio files among peers lectures for students, or simply listening to music. Since they are widely compatible, it makes it an easy file to share with such a small file size. A variety of players can be used to play MP3s, ranging from cell phones, iPods, to computer programs such as Winamp, iTunes, Windows Media Player, to standard audio players. If you ever wanted to compress audio files to MP3s, you have a wide selection of programs to choose from. Programs such as Adobe Audition, Audacity, Nero Wave Editor, WavePad, and Goldwave are just a few of the many programs out there. Like with anything, there are always pros and cons. For example, did you know that since MP3s have such a widespread support with practically anything capable of playing audio files, they're easy to stream and distribute online. They even have a good fidelity to file size ratio, and they're easy to compress. But since MP3s are an older format, they are also lower in efficiency when compared to modern codecs such as AAC or AC3. Since they are also a form of lossy compression, they generally do not support bit rates higher than 320 kilobits per second. So next time you hear an mp3, where will you be listening to that from? <laughs>